Hi, this is Gordon from School TLP, and today I wanted to take a few minutes to walk you through the student-facing side of the program. Uh, so this video is uh, mainly going to be focusing on how students navigate and submit their work and things like that. Uh, so when a student logs in, they're going to go to their school's URL, and in this case I'm using a training school. But uh, go ahead and sign in with your username and password, and as soon as you get logged in, you're going to start on the Messages tab. So if you have any messages, you have to read them before you do anything else. Uh, what that means is if I try to go to another tab, like click on Report Card or Overview, it won't work. I have to read the messages before I leave the tab, um, and it tells me that right there. So to uh, read and acknowledge a message, you just need to click on it, and then click the button that says Acknowledge You've Read the Message, and then at that point, you're free to go to another tab. Uh, there is a small magnifying glass icon in the lower uh, left-hand corner that um, will have certain articles that um, may be of, of, of use to you, like showing you how to work on a course or telling you when there's going to be scheduled uh, downtimes and things like that. But once the students uh, read their messages and they're ready to work on the course, they can click on the Overview tab. And uh, these are all the different courses that I'm enrolled in. And if I look to the right of each course, I'll see some colored icons. Uh, so here, for example, in Biology A, I can see that the top bar, which is my actual progress, is in the red. Uh, the bottom bar, which is the expected progress, uh, is 35%, so I'm a little bit behind. Uh, that color will be gold or green, depending on how close I am to my goal. But I want to see how I'm doing in any section. I can click on the name of the section, so click Biology A, and I can see all the different activities that make up this course, and I can see uh, how much time I spent working on them, how many attempts I've made, what my grades are, and things like that. There's also a pay state column, so this uh, column tells me when I should attempt an activity if I want to finish with the course on time. So in this case, the course started on May 10th and it ends on November 6th. And if I want to be finished with the course on time, I just need to make sure that I'm accomplishing, accomplishing each activity by its pay state. When I'm ready to work on a course, I'm going to click the link that says work on this course. And the first thing that I'll see are a couple of different badges that tell me where I was last time I was in the course. Uh, versus what's up next. So it looks like last time I was in Human Shapes. <clears throat> so this course is published by uh, Bright Thinker, uh, known as Comprehend in, in certain states, but uh, the Comprehend Bright Thinker courses are very, very consistently formatted in that there's always five units and a final exam. So if I want to expand uh, unit one here, you can see all the different things that I've worked on. And uh, if I want to look at lesson five, for example, I'll click on lesson five. And we'll see some instructional text. We'll see some key terms listed at the top. And I can hear play if I want to uh, if I want to hear those terms pronounced. X-ray. And pretty soon I'm going to see instructional text followed by questions. Uh, some tools that I can use if I want to highlight some of the instructional text. I can click on the highlighter tool. And I can highlight text that seems important to me. And those highlights will stay in place unless I uh, unhighlight them. And I can just turn off my highlighter. Um, some different questions. If I want to use the answer eliminator, I can uh, use that to help me rule out answers that I think uh, I know are not right right off the bat. And I can submit my answers and pick an answer. Uh, but if I'm stuck on a question, if I'm uh, just really not sure what the answer is, I can flag that question. I can hit the bookmark icon. Uh, and then I'll have to come back and review it before I can submit my answers. There's also a little um, note taking uh, opportunity there. So if I click on the question notes icon, I can take notes on the questions and I can say, I can take some notes on questions and do a little metacognition that way. Um, I can also review my answers. So there's a little blue box in the upper uh, right hand corner. If I click review, that will show me all the questions um, that I've seen and whether I've answered them or whether I've taken any notes or whether I flagged them. And if I want to go back and look at old lessons that I've done, uh, for example, here in lesson one, it shows that I got a 75 and that um, I have some feedback there as well. So if I want to go back and read the feedback or look at the questions that I answered or something like that, I can uh, I can click on that lesson again. And here in the upper right is a little um, box with an I, and that's the grade details box. If I click there, uh, it will show me my score. It will show me any feedback that the instructor uh, gave me in the box here. And then if I want to review questions, uh, that I've answered, I can do that here.
question nine, for example, there were uh, four right answers and I only picked one, so I got 25 out of 100. Um, some of this is configurable by the teacher, so the teacher um, may want the students to be able to review questions that they've already seen. Um, some teachers may not, so again, this is going to be up to the teacher and whether or not the teacher wants this to be enabled. But that's uh, a quick peek through um, one of the courses here in biology. Let's, let's look at one more. Uh, let's go back to my student page, and this time we'll look at an elective. Um, in this case, uh, we'll look at Intro to Culinary Arts, so quick work on this course. And again, I'll see the same two badges that show where I was last time and what's up next. Um, I'm speaking a different unit, cooking unit three here. Okay, so uh, all these different lessons are going to be presenting instructional text, and it's just up to me to read the instructional text and uh, maybe take notes on it. And then eventually I'll get to some questions. When I click on the text questions uh, object here, uh, it tells me very specifically I need to uh, copy these questions and either uh, paste them as a file attachment or paste the questions into my Dropbox. So the next activity would be the Unit 3 text, uh, text questions Dropbox. And if I click Show, box, uh, show Dropbox, I can uh, paste those questions here and I can uh, submit my answers maybe in a different font. Like that. And then again, you can either uh, paste the questions and, and your responses in this um, in this drop box, so in this text box here, or if you want to save them on a different, um, like save them on a document or something, and then upload them as a file attachment, you can click where it says choose file, and then you can uh, browse for whatever file on your machine that you want to upload. But either way, you can uh, submit in the text box or you can submit as a file attachment, and then when you're done, just click submit. So when I go back to my student page, again, I can click, I return to student page in the upper left, or I can click my name on the upper right, either way. Go back to my student page. And a couple other tabs, there's a report card tab. So for courses that I'm finished with, uh, there'll be a, an opportunity to print a completion certificate, uh, again, for any course that I've, I've actually completed. And daily activity just shows me the different days of the month that I was logged in and the different times that I was logged in and things like that. So again, uh, most important thing is make sure you read your messages. If you don't read your messages, you're not going to be able to advance. Uh, also make sure that you're using a modern browser like Chrome or Firefox or Safari uh, or Microsoft Edge. If you use Microsoft um, Internet Explorer, it will not work. That one's too old and it's not supported. But uh, thank you for your time. If you have questions, ask your teacher. Uh, teachers, if you have questions, please send a message to support at schoolsplp.com. Thank you. Have a great day.